Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Seraphin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome everybody to my channel. So for August I am concentrating on the beautiful Lighting the Way bundle. Um, this one we are going to be using all these leaves, this big circle, and then we are using these three little lightning bugs in the lantern. So um, this is the Mondays series. I have a Saturday series and now I started a Monday. So each Monday of the month is something different. The first Monday of the month is a sketch card. The second Monday, which is today's video, is a case a card. The third one is a shaker card. And the fourth is a fun fold and Friday is a mystery or whatever I come up with. <laughs> so that's just how it is. So we are casing a card from page 24 in the annual catalog using lighting the way. Let me show you the card. This is it. Really, really pretty card. I followed this one almost to the T. You little different DSP. Let me show you the card in the catalog. This is it right here. And this is my version. I'm using, of course, what I have on hand, which is the retired soft succulent cardstock, soft succulent ink in the Ever Eden uh, DSP. So let's get started. Now that you see what we are doing, and I'm going to go over what it is we're going to need. I'm going to set my card right there. I think you guys can see that. So on my little magnetic clip here, <clears throat> I have a card base that is soft succulent, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of the um, Ever Eden, which is two and a half by four and a quarter. Um, that's this one. And then I have a little strip of basic white that is three quarters of an inch by three and a half. This will be cut down to a half an inch by three and a half because the three quarters was a little big, but I'm just trimming it down. Then I have a layer of basic white for the inside three and three quarters by five. And I have three little lightning bugs in polished pink. So we're going to be stamping on our card base to get started. You will need a, um, I use some brushed uh, gold foil paper and a piece of vellum. And I took this large circular stamp and stamped in Bumblebee. Then we're going to punch that out. So let's put those pieces aside and get started. We're going to need a piece of scratch paper because we're going to do some stamping off. <clears throat> let's do the inside first. We're going to start a little backwards. So I already have my, there's my soft succulent full of my sleeves here. It's a little chilly today, though I'm sure it will burn off as it is summertime. So I'm going to stamp that right there. Then I'm going to come down here and stamp off again and off again. I'm just changing it up a little. This one is going to get stamped off twice. One, two, then I'm going to come here and right there. Really soft, really pretty. I don't think we need this one on the inside, but I chose instead to use this one. So I'm going to come here and right there. That is for the inside of our card, and we can go ahead and glue that right on in there. Let's just make sure nothing happens to it since it's nicely finished. So glue around all the outside edges, and then a big X to mark the spot. This is one of my favorite layers for inside of cards. So now we're going to do some of that gorgeous stamping that is on here. I got a little carried away, so I'm not going to go quite as far with it, I think. We're going to try anyways. So we're going to ink up this one. This one gets stamped off. 
we're going to start off of the page over here, stamp off, and we're going to do the same on this side, stamp off. Now we're going to come into the middle, stamp off again, right about here, just a little down, stamp off again, and come right there. Next, we're going to stamp off twice. One, two, and we're going to fill in some space like so. One, two, fill in. One, one, two, fill that space in. One, two, and fill our space. <clears throat> Next, we're going to go full strength with this beautiful one. We are going to make it sweep this way. Then we're going to make it sweep this way. Then we're going to do it again over here. So right about there. And then need to turn it a little. So right about there. Now this little one had a little bit of difficulty placing this one. So we're going to see what we can do. We are going to stamp off, I think, three times. Because I just want ever so slightly a hint of it. That's really good. Three times. One, two, three, and then a hint of it. One, two, three, and a hint of it. So that's that. Now, <clears throat> they didn't use this little one, but I am. I'm going to bring this in like so here. So now I'm going to stamp solid and stamp second. I'm going to stamp off because I want some right there. Stamp solid and then right there. I really like that much better than this one. So are we done stamping? No, we have to stamp our sentiment. <clears throat> and I told you, I'm keeping it at three and three quarters, and then we're going to trim it down after we stamp. So there we go. Yes, can do that. So they did that little side thing, so I'm going to do that too. Just like so, and just like... So now I'm going to bring in my guillotine. I'm going to move my ink all the way away. <clears throat> move the scissors out of the way. Now I'm going to bring this down here. I'm going to line the little loops of the G's right there. Cut. I'm going to turn it around and hopefully, yes, that will do. There, now it's a half an inch. That is how I did it on the original card. So that's how I'm doing it this time. So we're going to move this aside, bring in our DSP, which is two and a half by four. When I saw this card, I'm like, you know what? I think I have paper. I can do this almost identical to what they did. So that's how it came to be. Now I'm going to start this at one inch from the left side. So I placed it one inch in. Because that looked to be about what it was in the picture. Voila. See? Simple, simple, simple. All right. At least it, it, it seems to be. Now we need, <clears throat> uh, oh, we need to do our lantern. So here is our lantern. I'm going to punch this circle out with a one inch circle punch. I think it gives it a little bit of an aura around it. And we are going to, the side that we stamp the ink on, we're going to make sure that is facing the card. So I'm going to grab me a little handy dandy glue dot here. 
pop that oops almost did the wrong spot right down there right there now making sure that oops <laughs> i can't believe that did that making sure you can kind of see one sh shiny i'm going to make sure that's to the back of my but did i just do it the wrong way i sure did i want that this way i want that facing me as i put this on there now i'm going to come in with some dimensionals and pop this up three is going to do two at the bottom and one up here at the top and this then is going to go in its rightful place which is to the left hand side almost all the way over of the dsp at the bottom almost all the way over very bottom this hangs over a bit so there is our lantern now for our thanks for lighting the way i used some tear tape if i can get a piece of it here right on that line i know i had my glue scissors out All right, gonna go over it with the bone folder. You can use nails. So I'm gonna pull this up, hopefully. And see how that line is there? That's where we're gonna light for. The lighting is gonna be in the center of the lantern. Well, we could bring it up okay we're gonna bring it up yeah we're gonna bring it up so there it is now for our wee little hot polished pink little lightning bugs here i'm gonna show you how i did this because it was like why bother going through so much hassle with the glue dot when i'm just gonna stick a dimensional on there so i tried to do it all at one time so i need a circle I need three of these. There's another. And there's another. And I don't need glue dots. I did this with a dimensional. Now, once again, I want to make sure the side I stamped on is to the back of my i want that down face down on my um, card because i just think it softens the look so i took the glue dot and i fastened it right there and it's holding the vellum in place and then it's also holding the little lightning bug and those all are going to get glued down together now if i can get the backing off of the darn thing so this one goes down here like so. Oh, I don't want you to make it bend. I just want you right there at the edge. So we need to do this two more times. Grab a glue dot, made, I mean a dimensional, not two, just one, maybe. Well, I've got one for each of them now, don't I? On my thumbs. I am all thumbs with this. All right. Circle. We want to make sure the side I stamped on, which is that side. Flip it around. Nope. Keep it this side up. All right. Stick it on the little butt. Pop that one there. Oh, having it stuck to you is not fun. I need it on this little tool to help me get it right where I want it. Just 
stay down. Nope, it's sticking to me and not. Oh my goodness. Let's just pop it up like that, make it easier on myself, and now pop it down. That worked. I'll have to remember that. Pop it on there first. So there's our little circle. This one is hanging out right there. I want him actually go in a different direction. So this little guy, let's try that again. Making sure to find, okay, that goes this direction. Pop it on that. Weeks. <laughs> there we go. Our little lightning bugs. All lit up for the day and this one is gonna go flying off in that direction so oh so so pretty and the card is done guys it is that quick and easy and once again I would definitely definitely put this in a clear envelope I just think it's gonna really show that card off as it gets carried around to whoever you like to now you could do address label and I've been meaning to do this but why not just address the back of your card so let's do a little something on the back shall we I've been wanting to do this let's why not this is the perfect opportunity to do it so we are gonna take okay we're gonna fold it over like so probably should have done this before but I wasn't thinking I'm gonna drape that over that way that's where you're going to write your name and address. And then we, oh, we're going to put a lightning bug there. Not a big one. Where's my medium lightning bug? Look on, there he is. Not in polished pink. So this is where you're going to write to whoever you're going to. And then we do need... I think we're going to put this in the bottom so you can do an address label or you can use what you have and I am going to use what I have voila let's do one more let's do it again okay I've got this one we need to do it one more time oops this way first that one here yes this one no this one's going down here but now we can open it up because that's where the lantern is it wouldn't get a good stamping and then our little lightning bug right here oh so good darling so 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 cute love this one absolutely love it so and you know we gotta add wink Estella to our little lightning bugs right so we're gonna wink Estella these all that great gorgeous polished pink which should have made its way I can't believe soft succulent either I am like no I mean yes there's lost lagoon I know but I have soft succulent I don't have lost lagoon at all not yet anyways in time but I'm not fretting over it I do have the new core marker so I do have a little bit of ink and a marker so there is my card there is our address label that's the inside ha <laughs> ha beautiful little card so i hope you like this video if you did would you give me a thumbs up like share my channel help it grow because it is growing so fast and i am so amazed thank you and um, more than anything come back and visit me in my wonderland bye bye now